set yourself up for an interstellar stunner, because as per a gathering of scientists, Betelgeuse, that fascinating red supergiant adorning Orion's shoulder, has proactively detonated. That's right, you heard that right. We are not kidding. Within the next ten years or a couple of decades, its bright outburst will enlighten the night sky. But how did scientists arrive at this claim? Should we be concerned? Might the James Webb Space Telescope catch the remnants of Betelgeuse? Today, we're diving deep into all the latest details. One of the most prominent stars in the night sky in the Northern Hemisphere during winter is the red supergiant star, Betelgeuse. It's among the handful of stars that shine brightly enough for us to see its ruddy orange tone with the naked eye. Betelgeuse is generally the tenth brightest star in the night sky. However, as you may already know, it's always been known to vary in brightness. Part of the reason for this is that Betelgeuse is by no means your typical star due to its gigantic size. Assuming we were somehow able to replace our own small sun with Betelgeuse, it would stretch all the way to the asteroid belt and have a mass shocking multiple times that of the sun. It may come as a surprise, but Betelgeuse is quite young for a star, with an age estimated to be around 8 to 10 million years. In comparison, our own sun is much older, with an estimated age of around 4.6 billion years. This is because very massive stars like this burn through their nuclear fuel rapidly and go supernova relatively quickly on geological timescales. This also means they evolve quickly, and Betelgeuse may indeed have done just that right before humanity's eyes. To understand how scientists arrived at the conclusion that Betelgeuse had proactively detonated, it's essential to delve into the context. But before that, we should examine all the evidence. Come, my friend, and let me take you on a fascinating journey to unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse. The story begins around the 2nd century BC, where Chinese astronomers made an important observation. Betelgeuse showed a distinct yellow hue. Fast forward to the middle of the 2nd century AD, and the Greek-Roman astronomer Ptolemy described it as orangish or bronzed, similar to how it appears today. Likewise, medieval observers in the Middle East noted a similar tinge. The question arises about how colors were named or perceived in the past. However, in this case, there is a real possibility that Betelgeuse went through a color change within a few centuries. It is conceivable that Chinese astronomers observed Betelgeuse during its yellow supergiant stage, and over several centuries, it transitioned into the red supergiant stage. Given that humans, by our nature, are sky watchers, you have to consider how many people across the globe could have seen the star, noticed the change, but left no records. After all, changes to a star like that probably came with all sorts of dimming and brightening events that aren't recorded. Imagine them looking up at the night sky and saying, Hey, didn't that star used to be brighter? And that's exactly what's been happening. Right now, Betelgeuse is a variable star, but it seems to adhere to some cyclic behavior. Starting in December 2019, Betelgeuse's brightness anomalously plunged by a significant amount, which was apparently noticeable to the naked eye. For those used to observing the star, it was not its usual self until mid-2020. Over time, it recovered, and one theory was that some of these cycles had coincided, resulting in a particularly deep dip in brightness. However, observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope showed something rather peculiar. It appeared that Betelgeuse had ejected a massive amount of incandescent material into space, forming a large dust cloud. This dust cloud, in turn, obscured a significant portion of the star's light when seen from our perspective. The change was quite astonishing. Betelgeuse, once counted among the ten brightest stars in the night sky, faded to a point where it ranked lower than the twentieth brightest. It was truly perplexing to witness its dimness compared to its neighboring star, Aldebaran, which holds the 14th position in terms of brightness. Fortunately, Betelgeuse showed signs of improvement, but its unusual behavior did not stop. In fact, it is currently exhibiting a state far stranger than mere dimming. Over the past few months, Betelgeuse has undergone a dramatic increase in brightness, surpassing its expected luminosity by an astounding 50%. This perplexing situation is quite unsettling for a star known for its changes. The dimming events could be caused by dust or coinciding cycles, or perhaps the star produced massive sunspots. However, a significant increase in brightness is a completely different matter. 
although it could be associated with the previous event when Beetlejuice ejected material in the 2019 incident, it likely caused a significant disruption in the star's plasma flow. The current behavior we observe could be considered a delayed consequence of that ejection. But what lies behind this peculiar behavior, exceeding the star's usual variability? One slow theory that has been widely discussed is that Betelgeuse is approaching the supernova stage. While moderate estimates still suggest that the star is around 100,000 years away from such an event, will provide evidence to challenge this idea and show that it has already happened. So, what is the evidence? According to a notable recent scientific paper by Heikyo and colleagues of Tohoku University in Japan, Betelgeuse has proactively undergone a supernova explosion, and we may be seeing the repercussions of this cosmic display in the span of 10 years or a couple of decades from now. Yes, that's right, that's astonishing. The last observed supernova in our universe was Kepler's supernova, which was way back in the 1600s. Through a careful examination of Betelgeuse's fluctuation patterns, the researchers have identified four distinct periodic changes occurring at time intervals of 2,200, 420, 230, and 185 days. While the origin of the longest period remains uncertain, it is speculated to be the primary period, with the shorter intervals possibly serving as harmonics. The scientists propose a model suggesting that Betelgeuse is in a late stage of carbon burning, indicating that it could be on the verge of a spectacular explosion positioning it as a clear candidate for the next expected supernova event within our Milky Way galaxy. When it comes to unraveling the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, there's a bit of a puzzle. You see, there are some conflicting observations regarding the ejection of materials and the star's subsequent recovery. The general consensus leans toward a mass ejection event, something not entirely uncommon for various types of stars, albeit on a smaller scale compared to our own Sunday. However, here's the twist. Supernovae are a real thing too. We actually observed one in a neighboring galaxy of the Milky Way back in 1987. So, while it's possible that our estimates for Betelgeuse's supernova timing could be off, don't go planning a vacation around it just yet. The intriguing part is that Betelgeuse is currently precarious to observe. It has slipped behind the sun and won't be visible in the night sky until late August. Hence, we're left in the dark about what this enigmatic star is up to. Right now, what we do know is that it's defying its expected cycles by brightening. Now, here's something interesting. Betelgeuse's immense size and relatively close proximity, around 650 light-years away, allow us to discern details. While most stars are too distant, appearing as mere points of light, with Betelgeuse, we have an intriguing opportunity to directly observe variations in its light output through photography. So, we not only have a star that could potentially go supernova, but we also have plenty of data to gather, including images. Although they may be somewhat blurry now, let's imagine a scenario where Betelgeuse has indeed gone supernova. What would it look like? Firstly, it would be a spectacular sight, but don't worry. It's entirely safe for us here on Earth. You see, Betelgeuse is quite far away, so its supernova won't harm our planet. It wouldn't even be the brightest object in the sky. The moon would still eclipse it by far, and let's not forget about the sun. It would still cast its own shadows at night and remain visible during the day for about a year. Now, here's the intriguing part. The supernova would be visible at night for several months, gradually fading. There might be a brief period where it regains some of its former brightness, but eventually, it will continue to fade until Orion's recognizable shoulder star disappears altogether. While this supernova won't pose any threat to us, it could create some confusion for certain animals. Some creatures rely on moonlight for navigation, and with an unusually bright light overhead causing shaded areas, it could disrupt their activities a bit. However, that's not all. Astronomy itself would face some challenges. While observing the night sky from Earth during times when the moon is shining brightly can be a bit tricky, a very bright supernova would complicate matters further. However, many telescopes would likely be more interested in capturing the supernova's brilliance than anything else even if it means adjusting their observations. Plus, there would be some warning signs before the visible explosion, like detecting neutrinos and gravitational waves, giving astronomers time to prepare their telescopes. Now, let's delve into our next question. Has the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, actually observed the remnants of Betelgeuse? 
Be sure to share your thoughts on Beetlejuice's supernova explosion in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Beyond Revelation. Now let's continue our story. Well, fair warning. Unfortunately, the Webb Space Telescope has not had the potential opportunity to take a peek at Beetlejuice. Why? It's all because Beetlejuice is just too darn bright for Webb's liking. You see, JWST was specifically designed to detect incredibly faint objects in the vastness of space. However, if it turned its gaze toward Beetlejuice, the star's blinding brightness would completely overwhelm its sensors. Trust me, that's not a situation we want to experience. To give you some context, Betelgeuse's infrared magnitude is a whopping minus 4.378, making it about 30,000 times brighter than the saturation limits of JWST's filters. That's akin to trying to stare at the sun without sunglasses on. It's just plain impractical, my friend. But fear not. While the Webb telescope can't assist us in pinpointing when Betelgeuse will go supernova, there are plenty of other observatories eagerly awaiting to capture the cosmic spectacle. These observatories, both on the ground and in space, will be equipped with various instruments and techniques to unravel the mysteries of the supernova explosion. Just imagine the excitement of witnessing Betelgeuse go supernova in real time. We would have the opportunity to witness this grand event unfolding right before our eyes, gathering a treasure trove of scientific data. Once the supernova dims and disappears, our attention would shift to studying the aftermath. A prime example is the Crab Nebula, a remnant from a supernova that exploded in the 11th century. Back then, if you had a telescope, you wouldn't have seen the nebula as it appears today. It's still visible, evolving, and expanding from the point of the explosion. Now, what remains after a Type II supernova, like the one Betelgeuse is expected to experience, depends on the amount of material left behind. It could collapse into a neutron star or, if there's enough material, transform into a black hole. Both scenarios are intriguing, especially considering Betelgeuse's proximity. If it becomes a neutron star, it would be one of the closest to Earth. And if it becomes a black hole, it would hold the title of the nearest one for a long time. However, reaching it would be a daunting journey spanning hundreds of light years. Of course, we can't say for certain that Betelgeuse is on the brink of a supernova. The star's surface doesn't reveal what's happening deep inside its core. It's certainly unstable at the moment, but it could revert to its expected cycles and remain that way for decades or even centuries, despite being close to a supernova. On the other hand, alternative models suggest that the explosion might not occur for many millennia. Ultimately, only time will reveal the true fate of Betelgeuse. This cosmic spectacle reminds us that the night sky is ever-changing, and stars are not eternal. While some endure for unimaginable spans of time, the universe constantly evolves on both short and long time scales. So, let's continue to marvel at the wonders of the universe and embrace the mysteries that lie ahead. One slow theory that has been widely discussed is that Betelgeuse is approaching the supernova stage. While moderate estimates still suggest that the star is around 100,000 years away from such an event, we'll provide evidence to challenge this idea and show that it has already happened. So, what is the evidence? According to a notable recent scientific paper by Heikyo and colleagues of Tohoku University in Japan, Betelgeuse has proactively undergone a supernova explosion, and we may be seeing the repercussions of this cosmic display in the span of 10 years or a couple of decades from now. Yes, that's right, that's astonishing. The last observed supernova in our universe was Kepler's supernova, which was way back in the 1600s. Through a careful examination of Betelgeuse's fluctuation patterns, the researchers have identified four distinct periodic changes occurring at time intervals of 2,200, 420, 230, and 185 days. While the origin of the longest period remains uncertain, it is speculated to be the primary period, with the shorter intervals possibly serving as harmonics. The scientists propose a model suggesting that Betelgeuse is in a late stage of carbon burning, indicating that it could be on the verge of a spectacular explosion positioning it as a clear candidate for the next expected supernova event within our Milky Way galaxy. When it comes to unraveling the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, there's a bit of a puzzle. You see, there are some conflicting observations regarding the ejection of materials and the star's subsequent recovery. The general consensus leans toward a mass ejection event, something not entirely uncommon for various types of stars, 
albeit on a smaller scale compared to our own Sunday. However, here's the twist. Supernovae are a real thing too. We actually observed one in a neighboring galaxy of the Milky Way back in 1987. So, while it's possible that our estimates for Betelgeuse's supernova timing could be off, don't go planning a vacation around it just yet. The intriguing part is that Betelgeuse is currently precarious to observe. It has slipped behind the sun and won't be visible in the night sky until late August. Hence, we're left in the dark about what this enigmatic star is up to. Right now, what we do know is that it's defying its expected cycles by brightening. Now, here's something interesting. Betelgeuse's immense size and relatively close proximity, around 650 light years away, allow us to discern details. While most stars are too distant, appearing as mere points of light, with Betelgeuse, we have an intriguing opportunity to directly observe variations in its light output through photography. So, we not only have a star that could potentially go supernova, but we also have plenty of data to gather, including images. Although they may be somewhat blurry now, let's imagine a scenario where Betelgeuse has indeed gone supernova. What would it look like? Firstly, it would be a spectacular sight, but don't worry. It's entirely safe for us here on Earth. You see, Betelgeuse is quite far away, so its supernova won't harm our planet. It wouldn't even be the brightest object in the sky. The moon would still eclipse it by far, and let's not forget about the sun. It would still cast its own shadows at night and remain visible during the day for about a year. Now, here's the intriguing part. The supernova would be visible at night for several months, gradually fading. There might be a brief period where it regains some of its former brightness, but eventually, it will continue to fade until Orion's recognizable shoulder star disappears altogether. While this supernova won't pose any threat to us, it could create some confusion for certain animals. Some creatures rely on moonlight for navigation, and with an unusually bright light overhead causing shaded areas, it could disrupt their activities a bit. However, that's not all. Astronomy itself would face some challenges. While observing the night sky from Earth during times when the moon is shining brightly can be a bit tricky, a very bright supernova would complicate matters further. However, many telescopes would likely be more interested in capturing the supernova's brilliance than anything else, even if it means adjusting their observations. Plus, there would be some warning signs before the visible explosion, like detecting neutrinos and gravitational waves, giving astronomers time to prepare their telescopes. Now, let's delve into our next question. Has the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, actually observed the remnants of Betelgeuse? Be sure to share your thoughts on Betelgeuse's supernova explosion in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Beyond Revelation. Now, let's continue our story.